Thailand's embattled government came to power pledging increased incomes for rice farmers through a plan that pays up to 40 percent above market price for all the grain they could sell. The rice pledging program encouraged overproduction and made Thai rice uncompetitive, ballooning government spending by billions and creating a mountain of stored grain. The program also appears rife with corruption, says the Thailand Development Research Institute's Amar Siamwala. Very shady. And most of it is in the, in the disposal of the rice, in the sale of the rice. Because, and it's, it's not shady, it is completely dark because no figures are ever revealed. Thailand's National Anti-Corruption Commission is investigating Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat's role in the rice scheme that could see her impeached. The subsidy is part of an expansion of her brother, former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat's popular programs of cheap loans and health care for the countryside. Newer policies, including tablet computers for school kids and tax rebates for first-time car owners, show mixed results, says Amar Siamwala. The health care is probably the best policy the Thai government, any Thai government, has ever implemented. And just as the rice pledging scheme, the current rice pledging scheme, is the worst policy any Thai government has implemented. Thailand's anti-government protesters cite the rice program as a failure of the ruling party's populist rule and are encouraging farmers to join them in supporting an unelected reform council. The standoff over elections means rice farmers, not paid in months, may have more months to wait, but most are still reluctant to turn on the politicians who supported them. The government owes rice farmer Titiya Bunkau $6,000, and she now sells protest t-shirts to make a living. I am neutral. I am not in favor of any side. I wish the two sides would hold talks and come to an understanding. Farmers are now facing great hardships as we have not received any money from the rice pledging scheme. There are signs farmers are losing patience, blocking roads and petitioning Thailand's government and even the revered monarch for help. But their numbers are so far small. Prime Minister Yingluck says if re-elected, she will revise the rice pledging scheme, but has not yet said in what way the bloated program will change. Daniel Sheriff, VOA News, Bangkok.